Today, we're going to be going over my final dual haul for 2023, I think. <laughs> so if that's something that you're interested in, then just keep on watching. But first, my name is Naya, and here on my channel, I like to focus on fragrance, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, then please subscribe to my channel, become a member of my YouTube family. Also, like and share my videos and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time when I upload a new video. And leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. So now let's get right into this video. Welcome back, guys. And as the title reads, I think this is going to be my final dual haul for 2023. <laughs> we're going to see but do what they've just been getting me they're getting me <laughs> i am truly becoming a dua fan and i have to say that i have just as many of their originals as i have of their dupes so go figure right so same shirt different video <laughs> <laughs> but I know you guys don't mind. So let's just get right into this haul. So the first one that I have is going to be called Sparkling Vanille. And this is inspired by Frank Bocklet's Vanille. So of course we know what the dual packaging looks like already. I got all one ounce bottles again and I, you know, I think one of the things about Dua that really gets me is because this doesn't feel overwhelming. You know, this feels doable. I feel like I can go through this, you know, so I think that's another thing that gets me. Also, the pricing is reasonable. We all know that. And they are 90 percent of the time spot on with their dupes and their original fragrances are beautiful. We also know that sometimes you need to let these just sit and macerate so that they can really come together. But after that, they're absolutely beautiful. And excuse the bird. <laughs> I can't control the birds. <laughs> and so, of course, as I've been doing videos all day today, I am sprayed out on my body so I don't have an area to spray. So we are going to do tester strips. So some of the notes in this one is going to be grapefruit, caramel, lime, cardamom, ginger, vanilla, cedarwood, and musk. So, mmm, it smells good already. So I'm not sure um, when this is going to be posted, but it is right around Thanksgiving. I'm posting, I'm actually recording this before Thanksgiving. So I will say happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. I hope that you are having a wonderful time with your family. Oh yeah, so you get that grapefruit and that lime. And again, this is done on paper, so one skin is probably gonna be different, but I'm getting that citrus, I'm getting the lime, I'm getting the grapefruit, that caramel is sweetening up this citrus a little bit. That ginger is just kind of playing very nicely with it. It's not making this overly spicy, in my opinion. This is nice. This is a sweet vanilla with a kiss of that ginger with that grapefruit and that lime just playing very nicely in the back. Absolutely gorgeous on this one, guys definitely worth getting your hands on. So again, this is Sparkling Vanille. I absolutely love that one. So let's just keep it moving. And I mean, I have five of them here. <laughs> you know, I don't know what, I, what I'm doing. When I get on Dua's website, I'm just, I go crazy. I go absolutely crazy. I need to be stopped. <laughs> This next one, I've actually worn this one to work, I think one day last week, and it was absolutely beautiful. So this is Caramelized Sugar S'mores. So cute, right? So 
this one guys it's like i don't even really have to spray this one because just off of memory i know what this one smells like and it is just a smoky s'mores but i will spray it just so we can experience it together Woo! oh my gosh did i tell you the notes <laughs> This has notes of caramelized brown sugar, maple syrup, chocolate, condensed milk, smoked marshmallows, graham crackers, and sweet vanilla. <laughs> I get so excited. <laughs> you get that caramel. You get that smokiness in the back. This is gorgeous, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a literal gourmand scent. So if you are into that smoky, sweet, graham cracker, s'mores type feel, then this is definitely one that you want to try. I do feel though, however, this needs to sit just for a little bit because I feel like there's a sharpness in it and I'm not sure where that's coming from but there is a, a sharpness to it. And I feel like if it sits for a little while, then that may fade away a little bit. But this is, I think someone described this almost like um, that Bath and Body Works candle by the fireplace. So if you kind of take the smoky marshmallow of that and add caramel to it, oh, uh, absolutely beautiful guys so again this is caramelized sugar s'mores love 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 that one so now we're going to move into the next one that i have and this is vanille overload so pretty right vanille overload so this is inspired by Spiritually's Doubly Vanille by Guerlain. And this one has notes of bergamot, pink pepper, frankincense, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine, vanilla, benzoin, rum, and cedar. Whew. So I mentioned not too long ago that I got the oil perfumery rollerball in their version of Spiritualist Double Vanille. And I said that I wanted to get this just to kind of layer it and test them out together. So let's just spray that. Okay, now this one I have not sprayed yet. So this is my first time spraying this with you guys. I have not smelled the original, so I cannot compare. Um, but what I will say is that from this on the opening on a tester strip, I'm getting that rose <laughs> and you know, me and Rose don't get along. We don't like each other. So I might have to find an area to spray on my body because I really want to see what this is going to give. I think I can go right here. Okay. Let's, let's see because on paper I'm getting that rose. What other notes did I say was in this? Bergamot, pink pepper, ylang ylang, rum, cedar, vanilla. Okay, let's see if we pick up something else. <laughs> yeah, that rose is prominent and it smells almost medicinal on my skin right now in the opening it kind of gives me a band-aid vibe that's what rose does to my skin guys it gives me like that band-aid scent a dirty band-aid <laughs> i'm being silly i'm sorry but that's what it that's i'm being honest that's what it's giving me like a, yeah, a, a Band-Aid vibe. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to let this one sit. We're going to let it dry down. 
we're going to give a final opinion on that one at the end of the video but right now it's giving first aid kit <laughs> So guys, this next one I absolutely love. I've worn this one as well. This is a Dua original. This is Carnival de Dua. So cute. I hope you can really see like the little carnival scene that's on there. It's like a Ferris wheel. Uh, so cute. So some of the notes in this one is going to be cotton candy, caramel drizzle, marshmallow, vanilla ice cream. Simple, right? I mean, you're at the carnival, so it's supposed to be a fun gourmand scent. And it is, guys. Let's spray. Such a cute bottle. I love that one. Mmm. <laughs> you get that cotton candy. And it's just like, you can't really pinpoint the notes in this one specifically. They all just kind of blend together. I do get the cotton candy that does stand out, but the background notes of it, it's just blended so nicely. It just smells like sweet goodness. There's really no way to describe this other than that. You got that cotton candy, but it's just the sweet goodness. Just, uh, I will say though, and I don't know if this is, so there's nothing in here that kind of gives it like a hit of a spicy note, but I'm slightly getting just a, a little pinch of spice. And so maybe that's all the notes just combining together that's creating that scent absolutely beautiful so i love carnival de dua i'm gonna go through this one this is also a literal gourmand this i feel it's just very playful i feel like you can wear this pretty much whenever you feel like it but your perfume you wear it when you want to wear it but in my opinion yeah i feel like this is all year round i feel like you can wear this just whenever you want to feel and smell just sweet and edible. This is beautiful. I love this one. So again, this is Carnival de Dua. And so the last one that I have, let me grab it, is going to be, oh, I was excited for this one. There's a story for this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is the cologne of ginger biscuit and you probably guessed it this is inspired by joe malone's ginger biscuit okay so during the sephora sale that just recently happened everybody and their mother shut down the website right they had to put up a little notice saying, you know, we'll let you in in a few minutes. You got to wait your turn. So I'm like, okay. So at the last minute, I was watching someone's video and they were mentioning the Joe Malone's, um, what is it called? Ginger biscuit, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, that sounds like it's perfect around the holidays. It's gourmand, it's going to be ginger. So I'm like, let's give that one a try. So when it was my turn <laughs> to get led into Sephora's website, I immediately went to the Joe Malone and tried to add the ginger biscuit to my cart, but it was sold out. So I'm like, okay, I guess I just missed out on that one. And then I saw that it was limited edition, but I want to say I was in Sephora recently and they do have it in store. It may be back up on the website. I'm not sure. I haven't checked recently, but I was in Sephora and I actually sprayed it on me and smelled it. And it's lovely. It's beautiful. And so you can get it in store. But by then I had already ordered this and already fell in love with this one. So let me just tell you some of the notes in this one is going to be ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, caramel, roasted hazelnuts, tonka bean, and vanilla. So 
this is holidays guys this is exactly what this fragrance is it's just a piece of the holidays oh i don't even have to put it up to my nose this smells like a gingerbread cookie that ginger isn't too sharp in here it's almost sweet it's almost like a candied ginger and then that vanilla and the other notes they just play so nicely guys this smells like you're in the kitchen christmas morning baking gingerbread cookies this is absolutely gorgeous so if you weren't able to get your hands on the original, the Joe Malone, try this one. And I will say from what I can remember how the Joe Malone smell, these are, I want to say maybe 90 to 95% spot on for each other. I think the Joe Malone had a little more sharpness in the ginger. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I can remember from the Joe Malone. But this ginger here, it's very soft. I love this one, guys. I think, I love all my duas. I wanna say this is up there. This is probably top two. This is probably gonna be top two. This one along with Carnival de Dua, I feel out of this haul is probably going to be the top two this one is absolutely gorgeous so if you haven't tried it already if you wanted the original but can't get it and quite frankly don't want to spend that money on it try this one so again this is the cologne of ginger biscuit by dua okay so final notes on Vanille Overload, which was inspired by Guerlain's Spiritualise Doubly Vanille. Remember I said at the end of the video, I'm going to come back and we're going to sniff and we're going to see what we think because at first it was giving Band-Aid. So now let's see what it's giving. Yeah, I don't like that. I feel like that Band-Aid smell that I'm getting is trying to dissipate but it's still very much there in my opinion. And unfortunately it's that rose. So unfortunately it is a no for Vanille Overload. <laughs> well guys, we reached the end of my video. Thank you so much for taking some time to chill with me today. I enjoyed going over my final <laughs> dual haul of 2023 and this was just so much fun so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you come back subscribe to my channel become a member of my youtube family also like and share my videos and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time when i upload a new video and leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any of these in your collection and until the next time guys bye